Prior to unboxing, please make sure to locate and review the DV Series Installation Guide. The DV Series Installation Guide can be viewed by visiting newline.pub slash DV Manual or by using the QR code below. Step 1. Packaging Overview When your Newline DV Series display arrives, you will receive three or four boxes depending on if the optional pedestal was purchased. The first box will contain your display frame, the second box will contain the lower beam, and the third box will contain your LED display modules. If you purchase the optional pedestal, you would receive a separate fourth box. Step 2. Pedestal Unboxing 1. Open the box containing the mobile stand. 2. Remove the box contents. 3. In the pedestal box, you should have the following pieces. Step 3. Building the pedestal. 1. Lay down the right and left stand uprights parallel to each other. Then, lay the upper and lower beams in their respective positions. 2. With the provided hardware, connect the two upper beams together. 3. With the provided hardware, connect the two lower beams together. 4. Connect the lower beam to the right and left caster bases. 5. With the provided hardware, connect the upper beam to the left and right uprights. 6. Connect the assembled uprights downward onto the assembled base. Please note that if you are using a wall mount instead of a mobile stand, all steps will be the same minus connecting the pieces to the caster bases. Step 4. Installing the lower beam packages. 1. Open the box containing the frame and soundbar. 2. Remove the box contents. Step 5. Assemble the upper and lower cabinet rack beams. 1. Locate screw box and lay out frame. 2. Attach the T-shaped junction plate to the upper rack beam. 3. Attach the T-shaped junction plate to the lower rack beam. 4. Attach the left and right vertical bars to the upper and lower rack beams. 5. Attach the middle vertical bar to the T-shaped junction plates. 6. Attach the 12 corner sections to the vertical bars and rack beams. Step 6. Connect the frame to the mobile stand with the provided hardware. After building both the frame and the pedestal, we are going to connect them together. One. Lay down the pedestal, then lay the frame on top. 2. Connect the left and right vertical bars of the frame to the pedestal using the provided hardware. Step 7. Installing the sound bar. 1. Remove the sound bar from the box and lay it flat on the ground. 2. Join the two halves with the provided hardware. 3. Attach the provided middle cover. Step 8. Attach the sound bar to the frame. 1. Starting at the left and top of the sound bar, gently pull the white two-pin connection, red power cable, black ground, and Cat5 communications cable from the sound bar housing for the first panel column. Note that only the first column on the far left will have the two-pin connection. Continue to gently pull the remaining red, black, and CAT5 communications cables for the remaining columns. 2. Holding the sound bar to the lower beam, make sure that the pulled cables are not pinched and are accessible before tightening the screws that connect the sound bar to the lower beam. Step 9. Installing the cabinets. 1. 
Open the box that contains the cabinets. The cabinet positions from left to right are A, B, C, D, and E. The cabinets in the box are labeled as such. Two, remove the middle C cabinet from the box first. Three, install the C cabinet by lifting the cabinet high enough to seat the stepped screws into the upper rack beams. Four, slide the cabinet carefully to the middle of the frame, making sure not to pinch the cables pulled from the top of the sound bar. Five, repeat the process with cabinet B, installing to the left of cabinet C. Six, repeat the process with cabinet A, installing to the left of cabinet B. Seven, repeat the process with cabinet D, installing to the right of cabinet C. Eight, repeat the process with cabinet E, installing to the left of cabinet D. Nine, install a plastic strip between each adjacent cabinet with the wide side to the back and bring the cabinets together to close the space. 10. Use the provided hardware to secure the cabinets in place. 11. Attach the two-pin connection, red wire, black wire, and Cat5 connection to each cabinet. 12. Use the provided hardware to attach the left and right upper borders across the cabinets. Step 10. Installing the LED modules. 1. Open the module box. 2. Remove the contents of the box. 3. Place the stacks of numbered modules with the numbers facing you. When the numbers are facing you, look at the top of the modules. From left to right upper row, module is 1 and 2. From left to right lower row, modules are 3 and 4. 4. Looking at cabinet A, the numbers at the top left indicate the rows for cabinet A. 001 is the bottom row. From left to right, the module position for each cabinet row are 1, 2, 3, and 4. 5. Use module group 001 for row 001. With the provided gloves, install modules 1 through 4. 6. Repeat this process for all remaining cabinets and rows. 7. After installation, if the display is not flat or edges need adjusting, use the suction cup or vacuum tool to carefully remove the modules. Then adjust the magnetic standoffs with a screwdriver to set the depth or height. 8. Connect power cables to the rear of the sound bar. You have now completed the installation of the Newline DV series. To make any digital LED adjustments between modules, please download the app listed in the user manual. For further information or technical support, please contact us at 1-833-469-9900.